Rose's Corner. Thank you so much for your support and for your love so far. You guys are the best. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so yeah, guys, hope you guys have had a lovely week. Today. You know, we are officially doing the Spiritual Sunday series. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I did a poll and that's what everybody on Instagram said I should name it. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for helping me choose the name. It was either Spiritual Sundays or Time with God. So Spiritual Sundays one. Woo -hoo. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for that. Um, so yeah, this is the first series in Spiritual Sunday and the topic is going to be on trust. So yeah, God. guys, just to give you a little so background of what Spiritual Sunday is about is basically just me talking about my faith, my relationship with God and, you know, hoping to touch people's life in win souls to the God's kingdom hopefully yeah <laughs> okay so today the like I said the topic for today is trusting God so I have my tablet here so if you guys see me looking down it's because I've got my notes on here just so I don't miss anything um so yeah trusting God because I feel like that's an easy topic to first of all start with you have to faith in what you believe in and definitely trust what you believe because if you don't trust what you believe then nothing is actually going to come out of it so you have to have 100% trust in God for your relationship with him to actually go forward so and i you know i've noticed that it's difficult for us to kind of have like 100 percent trust on with someone not just god alone like it's very difficult and I, i'm not sure the reason why that is you guys can comment below why you guys think it's difficult for us to actually trust someone 100 percent. but i think the one person that we can actually trust 100 percent is definitely god so we need to trust god 100%. so first of all i'm gonna define what trust is so you know according to the dictionary you know trust is the belief that someone or something is reliable is reliable good honest and effective so you know and we need to remind ourselves all the time you know that god is all of those things so why is it difficult for us to trust him 100 percent? you know so what better way to trust the person that's reliable trustworthy honest and you know always there for us in our times of need so why is it so difficult for us to kind of trust them so i kind of put together kind of three steps you know to trusting god more in our lives and everything so the first one is obviously so for us to surrender ourselves and everything we are to god so we have to obviously when you become a christian you have to obviously put away all the old things because you become new in christ so you know you need to put away your old self and you know become new you're a new creation basically so you know you need to surrender everything to god so you can start anew and Christ. two i said um you need to you know have positive thoughts you know you need to have positive thoughts you know be thinking positively and don't put any negativity in your head you know and whenever negativity starts to come into your head you need to you know overcome it and change it with positive you know it's you know it's so easy for us to have you know negative thoughts and everything you know you just you think of a scenario and you're like oh you know that might not happen you know this might happen you know nah this won't happen no nah, oh i don't believe that can happen to me you know we start doubting and we start fearing and we start thinking of so many things and you know by the time with you finish you've literally exhausted yourself in negativity and you find yourself just thinking negatively so we need to overcome that and put in when we get any negative thoughts just change it with um because i used to have fear as well i used to you know experience fear and all of that and you know god has helped me through that Praise and the bible that. verse so, that stood out to me w during that time was um second Timothy chapter one verse seven which says but god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind and you know that's just to say that you know god has not given us the spirit of fear but he's given us the spirit of love and of sound mind so you know we have nothing to be fearful of so whenever negativity comes into your head or whatever it is that comes into your head it's not of good just put a bible verse that you have can some think of immediately to you know remove that negative thoughts from your head so that's one but second Timothy verse one, um, chapter so one have is Joshua verse seven, one, um, chapter one, verse nine, which, has, which says, "Have I not commanded you, be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid, not be dismayed, 
for the lord your god is with you wherever you go so whatever it is that's causing us to be fearful that's causing us to you know have negative thoughts god is above all of that as it says is everywhere we go and he's got plans for good for us not of evil so you know we shouldn't be fearful of course we're all humans and you know it's gonna come one one way or the other but we have to stand strong and trust god and believe that god is you know almighty and that it will get us through whatever it is we might be facing as individuals as family or whatever we have to stand firm in faith and in trust and trusting god that he's going to definitely get my us through that last tip the third tip that i have is also you know ask god to give you patience you know and to give you the grace to to trust him 100 percent, you know ask god to be for for patient you need to pray for patient that god should help you to be patient has whatever it is you might be going through ask god for patient in whatever it is that god just help me to be patient in this in this so that i can trust you 100 percent, and ask god to give you the grace to actually trust him 100 percent that God, just give me the grace to trust you 100% because I know that the plans you have for me are for pl plans for good and not evil. And I know that you've given me the spirit of love and of sound mind and not of and evil. You can also pray to God to remove every spirit of negativity, every spirit of fear away from your life. And you will be surprised by how that short prayer can move a, can do a lot of things in your life like trust me guys it's a even though it's a little short prayer god i just want you to remove the, the spirit of fear the spirit of negativity from my from my life you guys will be surprised about how far that prayer will actually go in your life so you guys just try it out and you know let me know how that goes but yeah guys that is the little that is my little topic on trusting god and i hope you guys have learned something for the from this short video um and i hope it actually helps a lot of you out there and it helps someone and it touches someone thank you so much and, for you listening know, you guys have been great thank you for taking your time out yet again to listen to me <laughs> you guys have been great bye